Good morning. We're going to play Spot the Difference. I'm going to show you three pairs of pictures and I want you to look at them closely and work out what the differences are between the two. Let's give it a go. The scissors are open, the crisp packet has changed, the mustard has flipped round, the flying saucer is different, the bag clip is shut, the bagel has been flipped, and the coffee has been drunk. The open scissors are closed and the closed scissors are open. The buttons have been flipped round. The crayons have been swapped. The coloured pencils are in a different order. And the whole picture has been flipped round. There are no differences whatsoever. It's exactly the same picture. Sorry about that trick question at the end. You were expecting to find a difference, but there wasn't one. The two pictures were exactly the same. In our Bible passage today, God gives loving instructions to his people. You must not do as they do in Egypt, where you used to live. You must obey my laws and be careful to follow my decrees. I am the Lord your God. In other words, God says to his people, I freed you from living as slaves in Egypt. They were sinful people teaching you to live sinful lives. But I have freed you to live differently, to live for me and like me, instead of like them. God says the same to us. Jesus died to free us from sin to live for him. This means that we should be able to spot the difference in the way that we live, compared to those who don't follow King Jesus. Jesus has freed us to live a life that is far better than the life of disobeying him. Why would we ever want to turn back and live for sin when we can live for King Jesus? Jesus. <laughs>